Hello everyone, Professor Vatcraft is here and welcome back to another Forestland episode. Today is episode 42 and in today's episode, I'm gonna show to all of you this infinitely expandable, very compact pathway changer for Minecraft better condition. So without further ado, let's get right into the episode. So how does this um, pathway changer works well it is very simple and uh, just to show you I will gonna flip this lever so you can see all of the rest in action so when I flip the lever as you can see the pathway uh, got moved down and the piston p-tips we're gonna push the blocks into the uh, main pathway here and after a short time it will gonna pop up again and a new pathway design is here and you can walk on it and everything is flush with the floor so this is your floor level you can place block above the redstone without worry as you can see and the redstone is very compact as you can see it's not too much it's very expensive to build this in survival but well, it's very simple as well. Now, I can see that some of you guys uh, are very confused as to how this works because the redstone here looks very complicated. But it's actually not. It is very simple. And to uh, show it in a more simple form, I have sliced the machine up. So this is one slice of the machine. As you can see, we have the piston feet tape here and we have the uh, uh, sticky piston which push and pull the pathway blocks from the ground level or floor level to the uh, piston feet tape level so the piston feet tape can push the blocks and cycle through the, uh, yeah, the new blocks okay so uh, i'm gonna explain everything in detail now so when you um, uh, activate the uh, observer or give the observer an update in this case I, i'm using a lever to give the observer an uh, input and the observer will gonna give a pulse to this resident torch and it will gonna turn off and on again and that means this sticky piston will gonna retract this piston will gonna push the redstone block from here to here and all of the items in the hopper will gonna go into this hopper this comparator will turn on this redstone torch will turn off making this uh, pathway push-up system uh, pull down the pathway blocks to the piston feet tape level then after a, a short amount of time a uh, short delay here uh, the piston feet tape will gonna be in action so um, the observer here no, no the uh, sticky piston here these two sticky piston when I push up and the observer will now be in this position power this block and power this uh, piston you're gonna push all the blocks to here and then this observer will detect the uh, block movement up here it will gonna give an update to uh, this sticky piston this sticky piston will push this block in front of this observer this observer will detect that and give an output to this trapdoor and it will gonna update this observer and it will gonna update this sticky piston so blocks over here will be pulled down here and after that, this observer will detect this observer update and same thing for, for this observer so this observer will uh, detect the update from this uh, observer and you're gonna activate this piston pushing the blocks from here to here and when the block is here, this observer will detect that and this observer will detect the update from this observer and we're gonna activate this circuit and this circuit we're gonna make sure 
Now this piston will only fire once and not create an infinite clock. After that, this observer right here will detect the block movement and activate this piston. So this piston will gonna push all of these blocks to here. Same thing for this observer. You will detect that movement and activate this piston and it will gonna push the blocks up here. And that is the uh, piston feed tape complete. And now it's just gonna do that again. And when this uh, hopper is out of items, the comparator will turn off. This resident touch turn on, pushing the pathway blocks up onto the floor level. And it will also stop the piston feed tape. So that is all of the redstone explained in detail. And yeah, as you can see, it's not too much uh, redstone happening. Um, and you can expand this infinitely. And yeah, very simple stuff. And for the infinite expandable part of the system, I have here the, uh, well, the part where your redstone uh, power is no more. So uh, the uh, redstone dust cannot provide any redstone uh, power when it is over 16 blocks. So at the uh, 15 blocks, I believe, you have to put this slice in. It is nothing too much. You just have to change the uh, well, from the uh, slam blocks and honey blocks. Uh, alternating each other like this to something like this so let me explain this okay so when you um, yeah do the same thing by flicking the lever then uh, this the, this piston and that piston over there we're gonna retract and this uh, sticky piston right here can pull down uh, these three blocks uh, these two blocks and these three piston oh no not piston but sticky piston and they will gonna land over here okay after that um, this uh, rail right here will gonna be powered and these three observers will gonna detect that and we're gonna activate these three sticky piston pulling these three blocks from here to the piston feed tape level and then after that all of the piston feed tape will gonna fire so it is the same thing and after a short amount of time when all of the items is out of the hoppers and then uh, this uh, piston feed tape will gonna stop they uh, these two uh, sticky piston we're gonna push everything up again and everything is flush with the flow again very simple stuff and yeah just uh, to, a reminder uh, you have to build this part when the rest on power is no more so you can check that by creating rest on line and sticky piston or anything that can uh, be powered and when you see the rest on dust on top it's not glowing again or it doesn't provide any uh, power to stick a piston then you know that that is the part you need to put these uh, circuit change right here and after that you just have to replicate everything here or you replicate one slice of the machine here and then you can continue onward and to infinity in theory and yeah, that is all of the uh, redstone for this. Now for the size of the um, um, the pathway, you can have from three wide, that is the smallest scale uh, you can have. It is three wide. I think you can make it uh, two wide, but I am not interested in that. Three wide is a lot easier to customize your pathway. So yeah, it can uh, range from 3 wide all the way to uh, 6 wide as you can see. So this is the maximum size for your pathway because of the piston push limit. 
So if we uh, count the amount of blocks that this piston needs to push, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, which is the maximum uh, blocks that the uh, piston can push. If it is 13 blocks or above, then the piston cannot push all of that because of the tail block push limit. But there's one thing you can do, and that is to put an infinite amount of pathway designs into the system. So as you can see here, I have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 pathway design and you can even expand it more and all you have to do is from this point on you have to put this uh, sticky piston extend uh, module like this and you can stack all of them next to each other but you have to alternate between slam blocks and honey blocks so it doesn't hit the push limit and break the whole system but yeah if you want to expand it infinitely, all you have to do is uh, put these modules like that and you can basically expand it infinitely and at the very end you just have to replicate the uh, piston of uh, push block down and push block to the side and from the side you just have to replicate these modules all the way like that and yeah that is basically how you can expand it infinitely it is very simple for the items in the system for the 3 y version it is 16 items minimum and for the uh, 6 y version it is 38 items and for this infinitely expandable version uh, it is 36 items it depends on how large you want everything to be so uh, for the items in the hopper it is all up to you but you have to test uh, test everything first so you know the amount of items you need to put into the system well, I think that's it for today thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode of Fun Restore goodbye